See there? Don't give a cop a reason to stop you. They're riding around with one headlight out. Probably wondering why the cop stopped him, but that's sure that's what it is. No, only one headlight. So. Hey everybody, Tech Bishop here. <clears throat> Doing it um, Ponzi zombie killer style tonight with a camera inside the camera. So I'm showing you the love on my camera. And a video I wanted to do was, this is by special request, guy wanted to see a video on me floating gears and double clutching. And as you see, I have an automatic now, 10 speed automatic, and I don't have a clutch pedal anymore, so I can't do either one, but I can talk about the transmission real quick, what I like about it and what I don't like. I've heard a lot of people say that they'll never drive an automatic transmission. They'll get out of the business first. And I wasn't that bad, but I did like my manual transmission. The only downside to this transmission is, and it's, maybe it's not even the transmission, but it's the limited wheel spin it has on this particular truck. If you get stuck on top of ice and you want to rock your truck out, you can't rock it out because once the wheel spins, it um, starts shifting the torque around to different wheels, and it just won't allow you to spin yourself out. And you have to get out and dig it out and what have you, where you know you could rock it out with a manual transmission. But the upside to these transmissions is, like before when I had a manual, I remember one time I was coming out of... Um, Atlanta, Georgia, driving for National Freight, and it probably wasn't so much the transmission as they had the truck geared down to 57 miles an hour, or governed down to 57 miles an hour, and so this truck was lugging all the time, and anybody that's ever come up 85 out of Atlanta will probably wonder what hills I'm talking about, but when you're coming out of there with 79,000 better or better a little better pounds of Clorox at 57 miles an hour and it's already lugging every time you hit a little grade it kicks the transmit the uh, cruise control off and I was constantly downshifting and so that's probably more for the gear I mean the uh, governor than the transmission but still it was a pain in the neck now this one as some of you know where I work I haul anywhere from 89,000 pounds a little better all the time and it's in back roads and up and down hills so I'm constantly dropping down gears and what have you well this cruise control will, will engage at 30 miles an hour so as long as I don't go under 30 I never have to worry about resetting the um, cruise control and it's really important in this job because we have a, a people net as you can see right here and it continuously checks our speed so if I start goofing around on a hill and start dropping gears and not paying 100% attention I can roll a little too fast on the other side and there's a big no-no around here there's no speeding whatsoever around here so with this thing it always puts me back exactly where I want to be and it has a jake brake so I never have any problem speeding or what have you but that's the trade-off and then when um, I noticed this year we were coming back and it was still kind of slippery around some of the intersections and I noticed that you could just slam it on the floor with this limited wheel spin and it won't allow you to spin out so you can just let the computer do all the work just drop it down you're not going to spin out it's going to just drive away like normal <clears throat> and that computer and that wheel spin is just doing its thing just like the and a lot of brakes do, you know, to just let the let the computer do the work. So all this stuff, I think, is, is for the better for us, you know. And like I said, I love my manual transmission, but I'll, I'll take the automatic any time. I've never had any problem pulling off. Um, and they do skip gears when you're empty. I don't know if that's a problem for some people that maybe you didn't realize that. But... Uh, when you're empty, you can manually put this up into third gear, and 
you take off, you'll see sometime you hit fourth, it may go all the way to sixth, sometimes it jumps all the way to seventh gear when it changes. So you're really pulling hard when you're empty, and it kind of senses somehow, you know, ever how they do it, that you don't need all that torque, or you do, and it just, it regulates it real nice. So I love my automatic transmission, and sorry I can't do any floating transmissions and what have you anymore, and no more double clutching for me. I think I'm going to stick it out with this company here the rest of my driving days, and all automatic transmission from here on out. So, anyway, there you go. Tag Bishop, sign.